only mode. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the webinar. I'm just pushing the record button, so I'm going to record this webinar today, and I'm actually going to post it over here on my Facebook page. Okay, so if you're on Facebook, you can look for the Short Sale Coaching Club, and uh, you'll find today's webinar posted over there in the next, oh, I don't know, little bit. And so today we're going to talk about, well, getting short sale listings, getting equity listings, getting FISBO listings, getting expired listings, not so much that other stuff, primarily short sale listings. Um, however, what we're really going to talk about is 2013 because it's two weeks. Okay, so today's webinars, have you, <laughs> have you got your boat loaded? Have you got all your rods in place? You got the, is the bait tank full? You got the tackle box all on board? You got food, life, all that stuff because it's time to go, right? And if we're going to go load our boats with short sale salmon in 2013 and, and other good business listings, we got to be ready now, right? Now's the time. And so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about planning to load our boat with listings in 2013. I'm going to show you guys some great strategies for doing that. So uh, before we get started, how's the audio working for you guys? Can you see the screen okay? I see some people are already asking questions, which is great. But if you're just uh, logging in, look around on your desktop for the little arrow, and you can just click on it. Okay, and that'll open up a dialog box. You could type in your comments or questions, just send them over. What I'd love for you to do, if you don't have any comments at the moment, is just type in the name of your city. Okay, click on the arrow and say hello from Phoenix. Hit enter and it'll send it right over. And then I'm going to see what we've got down here waiting for us. Um, hey, Jerry's in the house. Woohoo! All right, let's do this, Chris. Exclamation point three times. It's time to go. Three more exclamation points. <laughs> All right, I love the energy, Jerry. Uh, Jerry, Jerry's a Jerry's a great great client that I that I work with. So hey, um, welcome everybody. Let's see who else is in the room. Uh, Orlando is in the house today. Nice. San Diego is in the house today. Denver's in the house today. I'm going to just kind of move all this stuff over here and kind of quickly scroll through these things. Cincinnati, WKRP, and Cincinnati is in the house today. Good, good, good. I'm not going to go down this whole list, but it looks like the audio does work and you guys can see my video, which is perfect. Um, so we're on my website right now, Simple Listing Solutions, and if you're one of the folks on here who doesn't know who I am and is not familiar with this stuff, come over here and check it out, right? I'm going to show you some, some, some tools over here as, as a demonstration probably in a little bit. I'm not quite sure yet, but um, what I do want you to know is this. If you go to the, on Facebook to the Short Sale Coaching Club, you'll be able to come back and watch this webinar next week. Right, show it to your assistants if you want to do that. So I'm going to open up a PowerPoint presentation that I was just kind of putting together uh, last night, thinking about this stuff, and this morning thinking about you guys. Right, and I want to just make it simple. Right, simple listing solutions is the name of my little shack up on the hill where I've got things bubbling in the laboratory for realtors getting listings. Right, simple, simple listing solutions. So 2013 business planning made really simple. <laughs> And here's the thing, here's the thing, you better bring your habits, right? You've got to bring your habits. I'm going to give you guys ideas and strategies. you got to bring the fuel. you got to bring you, right? you got to bring your personality. you got to bring your dialogue. you got to bring the energy, right? you got to get up and go out and do the things, right? If you do, you're going to do great in 2013. So in 2013, simply plan for listings, right? Plan for listings. You usually, you know, Plan for listings, execute smartly on your plans, right, and then just take the listings, right? So have some listing getting plans in place, execute smartly on your plans, right, and just take the listings, right? You're going to work. You're going to be working a lot. It's going to be a busy year for you, a lot of work. But it doesn't, we don't even have to call it work. We can call the kind of the thing that we do to get paid, we can call it fun. We can make it fun and call it fun, right? Doesn't, we don't have to call it work, right? Right? So it's whatever we say it is between our ears. But in 2013, we're going to be doing a lot of it. All right? that's, that's who I'm talking to. People are here because they want to be doing a lot of it. <laughs> okay, so again, keeping it simple in 2013, think two groups, strangers and non-strangers. Right? That's who's out there in your universe, strangers and non-strangers. But let's think about this for a minute. I'm going to stop here. Non-strangers. Right. Well, that entails a lot of people. So if you um, are in Denver, Colorado, I'm not talking about non-strangers, like people that you know that live in Los Angeles, because you know they're probably not going to refer you a listing in and around your, you know, the Denver metro. 
Right. So when it comes to non-strangers, here's who I'm talking about. Here's who I want you guys to picture in your minds. People in and around your region, right, in your county, that are sitting at a red light. You know, they look out the window while they're sitting there, and there's a bus bench over on the side of the road, and there's an advertisement on it for your brokerage, and there's a big picture of you, right? And they look at it, and they smile, and they go, oh, hey, I know him. I know her. Oh, cool. And they have a nice warm feeling inside. Right? Hey, I know him. Right? That's who I'm talking about. Right? They know you, they like you. And now, who falls into that category? Well, there might be some 12-year-olds that fall into that category, but they're not going to buy a house or refer you to anybody, so you're, they're not going to go on your list. Right? So, in terms of non-strangers, we got to think about, okay, who do I know in the region who knows me, likes me, trusts me? It's probably going to be past clients. It's going to be people from the gym, people from the health club, people from my church, people from my wife's, where she works, people from, you know, my, my, my sphere of influence. All right, so now I've got, I've, you, you've whittled it down to, okay, not just non-strangers, but my sphere of influence in and around the county, and uh, boy, what if there's like 600 of them, and, I, you know, I've only got the resources to communicate with 20 of them. All right, well, then I'd just say, you've got to take that 600, which you guys probably don't have, so that's probably not a problem, but you got to whittle it down to who, do, who who's the most influential amongst those people, right? But who do you really want to have on your list? So for 2013, you better have your list of non-strangers, okay, your center of influence together. It's time to have it together today because it's in two weeks. It's 2013. So their addresses, names, phone numbers, birthdays, kids' birthdays, favorite restaurants, where they live, how you know, all that stuff, you know, have it together. You know, the more you have together, the better. If you just have their names and addresses, good enough. That's a great place to start. Okay, but 2013, keep it simple. Think two groups. Group number one, non-strangers. Right. Group number two, strangers, people who, who don't know you. Right. Those are the two groups that you as a marketer with a real estate license are going to be communicating to in 2013 to get a boatload of listings. You're going to be communicating to non-strangers and strangers. That's it. That's real estate. In a nutshell, that's real estate. Have a really good message and communicate it smartly to non-strangers and strangers alike. Who are the non-strangers? Your center of influence. Who are the strangers going to be? Ah, that's a great question. That's a great question. <laughs> Who are the strangers going to be? The strangers could be people on an NOD list, right? You might be getting like lists from the MLS or from, you know, I don't know, foreclosure radar or something of 90-day lates, list pendants, right? If you're in Florida, that's what you call them. If you're in California, you're NODs, right? Notice of trust ECL. You might be getting lists like that. Okay, well, that's a group. Right? Uh, you might have a geographic farm area in mind. Maybe you've been working a geographic farm area for a long time. That's a group of strangers. Right? And your, uh, your idea, your intention when you started that geographic farm area, whether you knew it or not, was to convert all the strangers in that farm area into non-strangers. Because non-strangers are the number one source of referral business right? in listings. <laughs> non-strangers. You want to have a bunch of them. But even the non-strangers, they don't refer you business, and they don't list their house with you unless they're hearing from you frequently, right? So really, it's like you're in the communications business, and you've got to broadcast really smart communications to just two groups of people, strangers and non-strangers. And you need to know, okay, well, who are the strangers going to be that I'm going to broadcast to? And who are the non-strangers going to be that I'm going to broadcast to? And what's my message going to be? Right. So uh, again, NODs is one group. Geographic farm area, that could be another group, right? So let's talk about strangers for a minute. Okay, so in 2013, you've got to have a plan to communicate to both groups, strangers and non-strangers. If you want to load your boat with listings, you've got to be communicating to both. So let's start out with strangers, right? People who don't know you, don't like you, don't trust you. All right, so you are going to ask yourself, how are you going to contact them in 2013? What's your plan? Do you guys have your plans, systems, strategies in place for how you're going to contact them. Is it going to be door-to-door, -door, over the phone, mail, internet? Like, what's the strategy? Who are you going to contact? Right? NODs, 30-day lates, 60-day lates, 90-day lates, or, you know, is it going to be a ge geographic farm area people? Right? Who is it going to be? So how are you going to contact these people? Who are the people? How often will you contact them? Right? What's your unique service offer? Right. What's the message that you're broadcasting in other terms? And are your resources in place? Right. Do you have that message together? Right. If you're going to be sending out, you know, emails or mail, do you have all your mail together? 
right? If you're going to be doing cold calling, have you got your script, your dialogue? Is it all ready to go? You got your unique service offer already in place, right? If you're going to be driving them to a website, is that all dialed in and ready to go? So when they get there, they go, oh, this is just what I needed, right? That's what I mean. Do you have your resources and stuff in place set up? Okay. So again, in terms of strangers, how are you going to contact them? Who are you going to contact? How often will you contact them? What's your unique service offer? And are your resources in place? Right, so we're just trying to keep things really simple. Now, how about non-strangers, right, your center of influence? How many people on your list? How many people on your list today, if you, when you get off this webinar, you say, I, I have access to their name, their phone number, their address, right? They live in the county. They know me. They like me. They trust me. How many people? And then how many touch points per month in 2013 are you going to have with those people? And when I say touch points, I mean how often over the course of 30 days are they going to hear from you, right? Because, you know, it, 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 <laughs> the evidence is clear. The more often they hear from you, the more often you'll hear from them, right? They hear from you once a month. Maybe they got the message. Maybe they didn't. Right? They hear from you twice a month, odds are they got at least one of the messages. They hear from you three times a month, they got one of the messages. They may have even gotten all three. Right? And if they're good message, they appreciate them all. Right? So, and they're getting the message. Right? Coca-Cola, um, Marriott Hotels, the, the TV commercials that you guys see when you watch TV, they don't just run the commercial one time. You might see the same commercial like six times in an evening. Right? And then over the course of a month, you see that commercial like 48 times, right? And then maybe you don't see it for a while, but by that point, too late. The song's stuck in your head. I just want to be okay, be okay. You know the one I'm talking about, the little dog running around in the backyard? Last year, it got stuck in my head. It's still there. <laughs> okay, so how many touch points per month with those people, the non-strangers? Right? And what will those touch points be? Newsletter, note card, phone call? You're going to drop by? What are they going to be? Right. Have you got those resources in place? Right. Have you got a newsletter ready? Have you got your website ready? Right. If they're going to be note cards, what kind of messaging? Have you got 12 of them created to cover 12 months already? You're going to make them up every month. Right. Are you going to be employing video? I hope the answer is yes because it's really powerful and it's free. Right. And if so, have you okay? Have you got a YouTube account set up? They're free to set up. Is it ready to go so that when you make your first video? It's just easy. You can upload it, and then you can make it. Like, for instance, Christmas is about to be here, and most of you have laptop computers, right? You could turn on your webcam, and you could look right into the camera with, you know, you make sure you're not, you know, in the bathroom, right? You make sure you're in a nice place where there's, like, some, you know, your office. It looks professional behind you. Maybe there's a tree, a you know, a bookcase or something, right? And you look into your webcam. You know, brush your teeth, make sure there's no spinach, you know, comb your hair. You look into the webcam. Hey, folks, how's it going? Hey, this is Crystal Beta. You guys know me. Listen, <laughs> I just wanted to send you a holiday greeting. Um, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and your family from, from the Crystal Beta team. You, you've been um, you, a great past client of mine. Or, you know, whatever your message is going to be, it could just be happy holidays from my team to your family, thinking about you guys and just wishing you a warm and joyful holiday season. Thanks for watching this message and not keeping me a secret. Merry Christmas, right? That's a video. It just only takes 45 seconds. Done. Boom. Video, right? Now, why can't I send an email out to everybody on my email list? Hey, click here for an important message from me to you. And they click on it. Boom. A video opens up. Hey, how's it going? Merry Christmas from me to you. And they see my face. They hear from me, right? Video is very powerful. It's a very powerful way to communicate with people. Why? Because they remember that. They don't remember an email. They don't even read the email. <laughs> right, but when they click what? Oh, bam, there you are. They can see your face, hear your voice. Hey, wow, that was nice. That was thoughtful. That was technologically savvy. Huh, they're smarter than the average bear. That was pretty cool. Hey, Chris, thanks. We got your holiday, right? So um, that's why I think you guys ought to be employing video right away because it's powerful, right? It's free, and you can do it with your smartphone. So back to non-strangers. How many people on your list? How many touch points per month? What are those touch points going to be? Have you got your resources in place? And so knowing this as entrepreneurs, right, great ideas plus flawless execution, it equals success, right? If you got a great – door knocking is a great idea, right? It works great as long as you execute well, right? If you go out there and you flub it, it doesn't work, right? Direct mail works unless you flub it, then it doesn't work, right? So great ideas plus flawless execution equals success every time. Every time. So let's talk about listings 2013. Can you guys list some popular methods for finding listings? 
Like if, if I just said get out a pad of paper and a pen, write down some ways for getting listings in 2013. Popular methods. Popular meaning they've been around for more than a month, right? They've been happening for years probably because they work, right? So what are things that we could all probably come up with? Well, door knocking, mail, open houses, cold calling, asking people for referrals, right? Buying leads. Those are all ways to go about it. But in terms of systems and strategies for 2013, let's just pick one of these for a second and talk about it, right? So let's talk about an open house for a minute, okay? In 2013, boy, I don't know what just happened to my screen. Huh, where'd we go? Here we go. Oh, I don't want to go that far ahead with you guys. Okay, so in 2013, we're going to get listings. We know we are. We ought to have a system in place then called the purpose of a listing is to get another one, and I've got to leverage every single listing I get. I've got to leverage my inventory. Okay, how do I do that? Okay, well, every time I have a new listing, I've got a system in place, a checklist that I operate from. New listing means I make a just listed flyer, right? And I hand deliver it to 100 doors around my listing. Knock, knock. Hey, how's it going? My name's Chris Sylvain. I'm with Keller Williams. I just listed a home down the street. I want to let you guys know about it. Oh, wow. Which house is it? How much? Yeah, here you go. Nice to meet you. Bye. Right? So strategy number one is every time I take a listing, I make a just listed. I don't mail it. I hand deliver it because I'm in the relationship generating business. Remember, my job is to convert non-strangers into strangers. Okay. So I knock on the doors. I meet 100 homeowners in and around my listing. Okay, and then part of my system checklist number two is, okay, did, did, was the just listed flyer delivered to 100 doors? Did you meet a bunch of people face to face? That's great. Okay, a week later, I've got to hold the property open. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out what I like to do, print out a newsletter, and I insert my open house invite into it. And then I knock on 100 doors again. Hey, just want to invite you to the open house we're having this afternoon. Come on down, have a root beer float, check it out, see what they did to the backyard. You'll be pretty base. It's pretty cool. And it's going to be a great chance to pick your new neighbors if you know about the house. So come see it. Here you go. Right. To 100 homeowners around my listing. Did I do that? Right. Okay. So they all got the, they just met me face to face when they got my just listed. A lot of them just met me face to face when they got my invite to the open house. And then a lot of them are going to come to the open house and meet me face to face again. And then when I put the thing in escrow, I'm going to knock on their doors again and hand them a just sold. Right. That's like three, four face to face meetings of me to them. Who are they? Homeowners in and around my, around my listing, right? The purpose of a listing is to get another one. So I'm meeting them all face to face under a context every single time of, hey, I'm a local realtor that lists homes in your neighborhood and I get them sold and I hold them open and I invite people to check it out. This is who I am, right? And they see my tools. I've got very smart tools, tools that position me as a short sale expert, and someone who can help them, right? So just in and around the idea of open house, there's strategies and systems that you guys have to have in place in 2013 if you want to do more business than you did in 2012, right? I've got to leverage my properties it's much more smartly. I hand deliver the just listed. I hand deliver the just sold. I hold open houses. I knock on the door and invite 100 homeowners to come to my open house. When they come, I stage to engage. There's coffee. There's cinnamon rolls. There's music. There's a bottle of water. Come on in. Check it out. There's energy. They meet me. They like me. They leave the event going, wow, I really liked him. I'm impressed. Right? That's the purpose of my open houses in 2013. And so I've got to have a checklist. Did we do that? Check. You know, do we keep the flyer box full? Check. Is there a letter on the reverse side of my flyer box so when the neighborhood homeowners come and empty my flyer box like they always do, they're going to turn it over and go, oh, wow, and be compelled to come visit my website and leave me their name and address? Check. Right? Okay, good. Now, am I keeping that flyer box full? Check. Right? That's just around open houses. So what are my systems and strategies for that? Right? Now, if I'm door knocking, right, what's my dialogue at the door? Am I using dialogue that people say, wow, I need to know more? Come on in. Or am I using dialogue that makes people say, ah, we're working on a loan mod, go away, right? <laughs> What's my dialogue? What's my unique service offer? Oh, we need to know more. Come on in, right? Well, that's going to be dependent upon my unique service offer. But number two, what about all those people who aren't home or don't answer the door? What, am I just wasting my time going there because they, they weren't home and they didn't answer the door? No. What am I going to do then, right? What am I going to leave behind at the door that generates a response? What's my system? for door knocking, right? What am I going to say when they open the door? And what am I going to do when they don't open the door, right? So they can fully leverage my time out there and get callbacks, right? Mail. If I'm going to mail, who am I going to mail to? What am I going to mail, right? 
So these are all things that each each little category systems and strategies around, right? And I'm sharing some with you right now. I'm sharing some with you right now. But what's the number one source of listings, right? Non-strangers. Yay! I say yay because we love working with referrals. We love working with non-strangers. They're the best people to work with. So let's call non-strangers, let's call them our A-team, okay? For 2013, we're going to call our non-strangers, that's our A-team, right? And they're more important than any other team. They really are. And I'm going to explain to you why right now. All those people that know you, right, in your county, if you were to, let's say you say, Chris, I don't have a newsletter. And I say, well, you ought to go get one because it's a real good idea. Chris, where can I get one? I say, you get one from me. You can get one from Craig Forte over at Service for Life. You can get one from Joe Stumpf over at Buyer Referral Only. You can get them all over the place. Go online, get a newsletter, but get a good one, right? And okay, so Chris, now I got a newsletter. Okay, great. Here's what's going to happen with the newsletter. When you send it to strangers who don't know you, don't like you, don't trust you, and have never seen your newsletter before, to a large degree, they're going to throw it away the first time they get it. And who are you? <laughs> Right, but now you got a new newsletter. You send it to people who know you, right? They go out to their mailbox, they pull it out, they go, "What's this?" They see your face on it right there, your mugshot in the corner, your little logo and your name, and they go, "Oh, I know her." And you know what they do? They take it in the house. So what I just said was, strangers will throw your mail away, non-strangers won't. Does that mean you don't mail the non-strangers? No, you mail the non-strangers, but just know that it's going to be more expensive to mail the non-strangers because you mail them more often. Right? You just got to hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them. Right? The people who know you, they go, oh, cool. Hey, I like your newsletter. They play the game. They respond to it much more quickly. Right? It's almost as if there's an invisible wire between their belly button and your belly button. And whenever you communicate something, it gets transmitted right down that copper wire. Beep, boom. And they get it the first time. They go, oh, what's this? Right? The strangers, there's no wire there. <laughs> right? So you just got to keep putting it in front of them. Right. So as a marketer with a real estate license, it makes sense to like develop an A-team, make an A-team and grow it, right? Because they'll listen to you, they'll hear you, and they'll refer to you faster, much faster. Okay, so remember that. That's important. All right. Group think is good oftentimes. Sometimes in life it's not, but, but in real estate, group think is good, and here's why. All right, you know you got an A-team, fans, past clients, friends, family, associates, people like that, and you know that you got to have a system in place in 2013 to have multiple touch points with them every month and a good, unique service offer. I'm going to show you a couple and tell you, you know, what a good, unique service offer is in a moment. But, you know, you got a B-team. That could be a geographic farm area, right? C-team, that could be NODs, list pendings. D-team could be like FISBOs. Right. How about expires? How about going down to the county courthouse every month and getting a list of all the people who filed for divorce? Right. And you got a, like a letter campaign in place for them. Because people who filed for divorce, they're not getting a bunch of stuff in the mail from realtors. Right. You send them something in an envelope, they're going to open it up and read a letter. Right. And if it's a good, well written letter, and if you got 12 of them written, you send it out once a month, you know, or twice a month over six months. Right. And then that's the end of your campaign. You're going to be listing people who are just filed for divorce. Right. You just got to write some good letters. So groups, groupthink, right? You're a marketer with a real estate license. So you need to be thinking in terms of groups in 2013 and understanding that there's really two groups, people who know you, people who don't, strangers, non-strangers. So I go back to what systems do you have in place right now for 2013 to consistently and smartly communicate a smart message to strangers and non-strangers, and how often will you do it, right? And how well you do that, how often you do that is going to be a direct result of how many listings you get and referrals, right? And then how well you leverage the inventory that you get, again, that's going to be a direct result that's going to produce more listings for you. So pick your groups, right? And it's all about the number of touch points and your message, right? So if my group is NODs, how many times will I communicate to the person on that NOD list? And what's my communication method and, 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 and message content? What is it? Right. So check it out. Three purposeful communications to your A-team every 30 days should generate two referrals a month if you've got 50 people on that list. Okay. 50 people 
should generate two deals a month for you, right? 50 people, if they hear from you three times a month, right? I'm going to suggest newsletter, note card, phone call, right? So what I would actually suggest is that you build your team 50, like a, a, a list of 50 people. They're your advocates in your county. They're past clients, friends, family, people who love you, know you, trust you, like you. They'd revert you, right? The, the cleaner you can make that list, the better. If you can get 50 people on that list and they hear from you three times a month, you're going to be getting two solid referrals a month. And the kind of referrals you're going to get are they're going to be the kind you ask for, right? As a marketer with a real estate license, if you know how to be a conductor, right, you conduct the business that comes your way, right? This little note card right here, you guys probably can't see the text here, but it says, hey, friends, right now I'm working with some great buyer clients who are frustrated with the lack of inventory and the fierce competition for any decent three-bedroom homes in San Diego under 350000 I could really use your help finding inventory. That's a pretty clear message, right? Handwritten on a piece of paper, stuffed in an envelope, and sent out to my sphere, they're going to read that. Right, I can make a little note card out of it, just pop a postage on it, and bam, pop it in the mail to my center of influence. They're going to read it. Right? It says, I know you know someone who's either thinking about or planning on selling their home in the next 12 months, and I'm curious what we can do together to let them know about my services and how I can help. I might even have a buyer for their house right now. <laughs> right? That's a pretty intentional message. Right? So I got a newsletter that goes out in the beginning of the month. In the middle of the month, they get a note card from me. Towards the end of the month, they get a phone call. Hey, just checking in. Did you guys get the, my, my uh, newsletter this month? The welcome mat. You know, this next month, I'm thinking about, about, hey, nice talking to you. Right? That's three purposeful communications a month to my A-team. Newsletter, note card, phone call. And I'll tell you what. In 2013, if I just three intentional communications to 50 people every month like that, that's business. That's business. And if when I get that business, I understand that the purpose of a listing is to get another one, so I'm going to hold it open. I'm going to invite all the neighborhood property owners. I'm going to knock on their doors four times when they get my just listed, when they get my open house invite, when they get my just sold, all that stuff. right? I'm, I'm stirring the pot. I'm always stirring the pot. I'm talking to realtors right now. I'm saying, listen, if you don't have any business right now and you want listings, the very smartest thing you can do is go do open houses. Go do open houses. Go borrow inventory. Because an open house is a perfect excuse to knock on people's doors, right, without having to sell them something. I'm not here to list your house. Don't worry. It's not a short sale. It's nothing. I just want to let you guys know we've got a listing up the street from you, right, and we're going to hold it open this weekend. It's going to come on by and have some homemade lemonade and fresh root beer floats or, you know, whatever the thing is, right? Come on by and check it out. And then, listen, they're going to forget a lot of them. So put out a ton of signs, right? And then they go, oh, yeah, that's a guy that came by this morning. Look at all these signs. Okay, I'm going to go. Let's go grab a root beer float, if nothing else. Okay, great, right? So why would you do that? Because you're in the relationship building business. You're in direct sales, right? You've got to be out face-to-face -face with people if you want listings. It's not happening sitting behind your computer playing on Facebook, right? It's not. So, so open houses are a great thing. Anyhow, I don't know how I got stuck on that track, <laughs> but uh, let's go back to three intentional communications to your A-team every 30 days for two deals a month, All right? A-team monthly communication number three, give them a phone call, All right? Give them a phone call. So masterful communication, right? Since we're in the communication business, and again, to simplify this business, all we have to know is that there's two groups of people, strangers and non-strangers, and we've got to be communicating to them smartly. Right? So we better be a masterful communicator because that's really all we have to do is communicate masterfully to who? Two different groups of people right? and multiple times a month and we're doing business. Right? So masterful communication, it's intentional, it's result oriented, it doesn't get lost in their mailbox. Right? doesn't get lost in their mailbox. So I'm going to close this out of here right now and I'm going to open this back up so I can see you guys. And I'm going to take you over here to Simple Listing Solutions for a moment, my website. Right. And um, I build a toolbox. Right. I create a toolbox for realtors for getting listings. And in the toolbox, um, I provide them with things like ebooks. Right. I say, OK, so here's a book for you. You're the author. It's called The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales. It's a comprehensive guide to help you avoid foreclosure using a real estate short sale. And up top, it says, learn how you can sell your home for less than you owe the bank, avoid foreclosure, save your credit, and get your lender to pay all the sales costs for free. It's a book. Right, and it positions me as a short sale expert. It positions me as a real estate expert, quite frankly, and a short sale guru. Right, and I've got another book called The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure: Tips, Tools, and Tactics for Battling Your Bank. These are eBooks. 
Right. So what I do is I, 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 you know, the agents that I'm working with, I say, okay, here's a couple books. They're for you. They're ghost written for you by you. They're your books. You've got editing capability, right? They're your books. And then I'm going to give you some press releases, right, to talk about your books, letting people know here's how you can sell your home for less than you owe the bank, avoid foreclosure, save your credit, and get your lender to pay all the sales costs for free. And it's written just like a press release, right? For a limited time, you can get a free copy of this book. Just visit this website. Here's what you'll learn, all this great stuff. And uh, what I suggest agents do is this is the letter that goes on the reverse side of the property flyers out in front of their listings. Again, because the purpose of a listing is to get another one. Right? So I've got these in English and Spanish. Um, door hangers, right? Oh, more than your home is worth, can't afford to pay, get the truth about your options for a free copy. Right? So this just follows um, a, a, a very scientific proven formula in, in direct response marketing, which is called have a compelling headline, a free valuable offer, and make it easy to get. Right. Have what they want, right? Make it clear that you have what they want, and make it really easy to get the thing they want. Right? They don't have to call you up and talk to you. They can just go to this thing and get it. They don't have to wait for it in the mail, they can just go get it. <laughs> it doesn't cost them money, they can just get it. Right? So um, there's this letter, a couple of them, English, Spanish, door hangers, postcards, right? Take one flyers. Now these take one flyers, stop for a minute. Now in my mind, this is me at an open house, right? I invited 100 neighbors. They're coming to my open house. I'm going to give them a property flyer, and I'm going to give them a take-one flyer. What's this? Hey, thanks for asking. That's a book I put together. It may or may not apply to you folks, but I know you know people here in our neighborhood who would love to have this information. Oh, well, why is that? Well, it's going to show them how they can save their home for free, right? Whether it's through a HAMP loan modification, HARP 2.0, government refi. By the way, I've got people on my team who can help them with that stuff for free. Right. And by the way, if, if people can't save their homes through a loan mod or a heart refi because they're just not going to qualify, you know, we can help them stay in that home as long as possible, get paid cash to move out. What are you talking about? Well, Bank of America pays up to $30,000 relocation assistance. Right. Chase, I've heard of them paying up to $45,000 cash. Right. So um, they're not the only lenders doing that. So homeowners who owe more on their home is worth have a lot of options these days. <laughs> Save the home or get paid to move out with no foreclosure. And that's what we help people do, and that's what my books talk about. So thanks for stopping by the open house today, and, and, and you guys don't forget to take a cinnamon roll with you on your way out the door. Oh, great. So now the guy's leaving with a property flyer, right, a cinnamon roll, a cup of coffee, hot chocolate, and he's looking at this thing going, hey, cool. Right? That's the purpose of my open house, right, my business cards. Oh, more than your home is worth, can't afford to pay, get the truth about your options, right? You want to see a cool Remax balloon, turn it over. But if you want the truth about your options, just go over here to this website and click on the HARP 2.0 help page and get help saving your home for free. Oh, wow. Right? Oh, wow. So dialogue, right? Communication, I've been talking a lot about that. And what you've just been hearing in my dialogue is I'm not talking a lot about how I can help you list your home as a short sale. I'm talking about how I can help you save it. And the reason I do that is because 10 out of 10 short sales salmon begin their lives as loan modification minnows. People want help saving their homes. So besides these tools, right, and tools like corrugated plastic bandit signs and Craigslist ads and things like this, I create what's called a stealth website right, that allows agents to build as many pages as they want, any page they want, every page they could put a million videos, a thousand photos, whatever they want. Right? And they don't have to be a rocket scientist to build the pages. Right. And it comes preloaded with a lot of pages. And it's a website that translates into any, any language. You speak Hungarian, just click Hungarian and translate it, and they can translate it right into Hungarian. Right. We're going to go back to English for the purpose of uh, this, this thing. But I want to show you guys a couple things right now. I want to show you the language, right? the language of today's market, right? if you want listings and you want to attract because right? we want to be attractive. We want people to say, hey, tell me more. Hey, come on in. Hey, honey, come over here. Come over here to the front door. Listen to what this guy's talking about. We're having a nice conversation out here at the door. What? <laughs> and now the wife's standing at the door, too. And, she, and then she's going, well, who is this? Well, listen to what he has to say. Right? So that's the, what is the language of attraction like that? Well, the language of attraction in this economy is, listen, I know you know people who could use my help, and I could help them for free. What I do is a foreclosure alternatives advisor with Keller Williams or Prudential or Coldwell or Realty Executives or whatever. Is I help people save their homes and avoid foreclosure for free. And if I can't help them do that because they just won't qualify, no way, no how, I help them stay in that home as long as possible and get paid cash to move out. That's what I do. Thanks for not keeping me a secret. Right? That's powerful language because that's what people want. Well, how do you do that? Hey, listen, take my card. Just go over to my website and click on the HARP 2.0 refi help page. Meet my partner, Tom.
who's Tom? <laughs> he's only the number one guy in the county for getting people approved under HARP 2.0. Right, he's good. He and his team—they've been on board with Harp since it's, it, you know, launched in '09, and he's helped a lot of people. It's a free phone call, nothing to sell you. And if Tom can get you guys qualified under Harp, interest rates are so low today, you can literally cut your payments in half, and that's a great way to save your house. Right? Oh wow! Yeah, well, we've been told we don't qualify for Harp. I'd go get a second expert opinion from Tom. It's a free phone call, like I said, and he's heard that before. <laughs> Right, so then they come over here. What? Oh, more than your home is worth? Can't afford the payments? Right. Tom Jacobs is a certified foreclosure alternative advisor, residential loan officer, who specializes in HARP. He's helped dozens of families who were told they wouldn't qualify. Oh, that's interesting. Right. And what's really interesting here is, let me show you guys something. The only amount of words that I have to read are about this. That that's it. Right. And when my eyeball lands on this page, my brain immediately tells me in 10 seconds I can absorb this information. Oh, more than home is worth, can't afford to pay, I'll refi. Okay, I got that. Tom Jacobs, certified foreclosure alternatives, and he's helped dozens of families who were told they would. Okay, I got it. I got that in about 12 seconds. And I see a video right here. Right. So I know as a marketer with a real estate license that my job with a website is to get people to come to the page that has the information they want and when they land on the page, not hit the back browser and leave immediately, right? which they will do if they see a bunch of words. They'll, they just will. <laughs> right? Unless they're a professor and they're doing research, they're going to leave. Right? But not when they see this. There's a compelling headline that speaks directly to what they want and a short little blurb that says, hey, this is who this guy is. And then when they click on this, hey, folks, how's it going? My name's Tom. Thanks for watching this video. Listen, if you owe more on your home than it's worth, I can probably help you. I've helped a lot of families refinance their underwater homes under HARP. Right? And I got nothing to sell you. <laughs> I got no horse skin in the game. Right? But if I can help you, I'd love to help you. Right? My team and I, that's what we do. Feel free to pick up your phone and give me a call. I'd love to talk to you. Right? So that's what's going on here, right? Take 10 minutes, give me a call. No big deal. Click on this link right here. Go to my website if you want. Here's me. Here's my team, right? Simple page. Simple for the prospect to take action. Simple for the prospect, the loan mod minnow, to go over here, meet Tom, tell them his situation or their situation. He's going to learn about their loan mod that's not going anywhere. He's going to find out what their situation is. They've missed a payment. They're unemployed. Whatever it is, and you know, in, one of two things is going to happen. You're qualified for Harper. You're not. If you're not, you know what they say, what do we do? And what does he say? Go talk to Chris. Right? Chris can help you guys stay in that home as long as possible and avoid foreclosure and get paid cash to move out potentially. Right? Bank of America pays up to $30,000. Oh, right. Symbiotic relationship. Right? So uh, $30,000. Right? So that's powerful language. Hey, I can help you guys save your home for free. It's easy. I got a guy on my team. He's the best guy in the county for getting people approved under HARP. Free phone call, nothing to sell you. Here's my card. Go check it out. Click on the HARP 2.0 help page. Right? Hey, you guys, did you know Bank of America pays up to $30,000 relocation cash? I can help you guys stay in your home as long as possible and get paid cash to move out. Here's my card. Go over to my website. Click on the Get 30K to Short Sale page. Right? And they go, what? And again, <laughs> compelling headline. Right? Video. Oh, what's this? A free book, Homeowner's Guide to Fight and Foreclosure. Right, Bank of America pays up to forty-five thousand dollars. I'm going to change that to say thirty k here in a second. In relocation assistance to upside down and delinquent owners who short sale, how much will your lender pay? I'll help you stay in your home as long as possible and, and uh, fight to get you as much cash as possible for your fresh start. And then it says, if I can't help you save your home through a loan mod, right? I'm speaking their language because that's what they want, and I want them to bring me on their team, right? So if I can't help you save your home through a loan mod or a harp refi, what? Click. Right? Why do I have a link back over here again? Well, because I may have driven them to my $30,000 page from a Craigslist ad. They work really well. People click on the ad. It takes them right to this page. Right? And I want to let them know that, hey, listen, I'm not just about short sale your house and get your relocation assistance. I'm about help you save it if I can. Right? Don't, just see, don't just see me as a sales cat with commission breath. Right? I can help you guys save it, too. I'm a consultant and advisor. Check it out. Right? I want them to go, oh, whoa, I like what's going on here. I like who this guy is. I like what he offers. I like what he does. Right. So because, you know, I can, I can build pages. Here's what I'm talking about. For 2013, are your resources in place? For 2013, do you have a target market? Right. Do you have a target market of strangers? Like I picked a community called 4S Ranch. It says if you're upside down on your 4S Ranch home. 
right? Forest Ranch has got like 2,000 homes in it, and they're all upside down. I don't need an NOD list. It's foreclosure ranch, right? So, and because I can build any page I want, you know, I, I put in, a, I, I speak to them, and I built Forest Ranch uh, for sale by owner properties, Forest Ranch bank owned bargains, Forest Ranch expired listing history, because I've got a FISBO campaign, I've got a buyer campaign, I've got an expired campaign going over here, right? Forest Ranch homeowner service center, get 30K to short sale, HARP 2.0 refi, right? Search for homes. So, this is not a short sale website, this is a realtor's website. Right. It's just a realtor's website that positions me as the realtor as a short sale guru, right? Sure, I'm in real estate. Now you can come over here and search for homes, bank owned bargains. I got those, right? I got some bank owned bargains all in Forest Ranch set up over here. If you want to take a video tour of this one, you can. It's a nice property. Right. Give me a call on it if you'd like. You know, I've got some FISBOs over here too. Right? All Forest Ranch FISBOs. Right. You want to give me a call. You want to, for sale by owner, pre-approved buyers can schedule property showings by calling the number below. You're interested in this property? Right. Give me a call. Right. So I got my FISBO campaign set up over here. I'll, I'll tell you how that works in another seminar. Right. That's, a, that's another seminar. Right. But this is a real estate agent's website that positions me right, as a short sale guru. Get a free copy of my book, The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales or The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure or find out you know, if you qualify for a half a short sale. Right, get help with HARP 2.0 refi. Get help with the HAMP loan mod. Download all the forms, instructions, how to submit them to your lender. Right, every it's like a loan mod in a box. Just add water, shake, stir. You don't need me, but this does empower me to say at the front door, "Hey, listen, I can help you guys with the loan mod. I can help you with the HARP 2.0 refi. I can help you guys stay in this home as long as possible. Get paid cash to move out and avoid a foreclosure. Whatever you want to do, I can help with that stuff. And my services are free. Let me give you a few of my cards and ask you to think about who you might know in the neighborhood right here, or maybe at your church, or your place of employment, who could use my free services, saving their home or selling it through a short sale and getting paid cash to move out. Thanks. Right? Oh wow, that's attractive. So you, the language, I've been using some really intentional language during this webinar. I've been talking about the language of, of, of our economy, right? I can help you guys save your home through a HARP refi, through a HAMP loan mod, and if I can't do that, I'm going to help you guys stay here as long as possible, get paid cash to move out, because that's what they want. They want thing number one, we don't want to sell. Thing number two, when they realize they have to, all right, well, might as well get paid and avoid a foreclosure. Right. So um, for the people who don't want to sell, that's great. I don't want you to sell either. I want you to go talk to Tom. Right. And what's Tom going to do? He's going to feed you, you little mo loan mod minnow you. He's going to feed you nutrient rich information. Right. Which is either going to help you save your home or it's going to help you morph into a short sale salmon. Right. And then you're going to come swimming back to me and say, OK, guess what? Now we'd like some help selling our home. Oh, OK, perfect. Glad you guys came around. Here we go. Let's go. Right. So um, I'm doing free attorney consult. Oh, we're thinking about doing a bankruptcy. Oh, great. Take my card. Go over to the website. Click on the free attorney consult. You've got to meet my attorney. He's a, he's a real estate attorney here in California, but he specializes in bankruptcies, and he, he could help you guys. He could talk to you. Oh, great. <laughs> right. right. So um, I'm doing some stuff over here at Simple Listing Solutions that's pretty darn cool. And for 2013, if you don't have your newsletter in place, Right? If you don't have your note cards ready to go, if you don't have your dialogue dialed down, if your website's not all ready just to go the way you want it to go, um, then think about you know thinking about checking out what we're doing over here at Simple Listening Solutions because I'd love to come onto your team for thirty nine bucks a month. Right, that's less than two twenties. Some of you spend more than that at Starbucks. Right, and I'll set you up with your own stealth system. Right, all your own tools, business cards, eBooks, door hangers, all that stuff, and I'll help you understand how to use it all and how to put it to work for yourself. Right, 2013, and for 39 bucks a month, right, and a setup fee if you hundred bucks, one-time setup fee, you know, one listing pays for my system about a hundred times, <laughs> about a hundred times, right. If you guys like to talk to realtors that are using my system, you could do that too. You could do that too. That's not hard to do. Okay, so we've spent about 45 minutes right now, and we we talked about really getting clarity in 2013, the strangers, non-strangers, how are we going to communicate, what are we going to communicate, and how often are we going to communicate it, right? And what I'm suggesting is that you guys position yourself as foreclosure alternatives advisors. I help you do that. I've got the, I've got the, all the designations you need to go on all your stuff. It's really easy. I've got all the tools, the business cards, everything for you, right, to make it real simple. 
Um, and you know, for those of you who are just kind of learning about simple listing solutions for the first time, there's so much that you don't even know that you don't even know. I, I don't even know where to begin with you, but I would suggest that you come over here and poke around, right? Poke around on your own time and just kind of see what we're doing over here at simplelistingsolutions.com. And then for my members that are on this webinar right now, um, you're going, oh yeah, okay, hey Chris, I could use some help getting my site dialed in like this one right and get my newsletter the welcome mat all ready to go for January 13 so I really love the way it looks all you need to do is contact me call the toll-free number send me an email schedule an hour with me like this week or next week and let's get your stuff dialed in all right um, any questions about anything that I've covered here today with you guys I'd love to answer and again you can just click on the uh, little arrow icon I think I've been seeing your questions coming through I kind of think I've answered them as, as I've walked along but um, with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just kind of close the loop on this. So um, I hope you guys got some good ideas today. Foreclosure Alternative Advisor, I help people save their homes and avoid foreclosure. And if I can't help you do that, I'm going to help you stay in that home as long as possible and get paid cash to move out. Very powerful language at the front door. right? And by the way, door knockers are winning the game when it comes to getting listings right now because they're converting strangers into non-strangers faster than anybody else. Right? They're doing it at the door with good dialogue, like they're executing, because door knocking is a good idea. If they're executing really well with good language, they're converting them right at the door. And those are the people that are getting the listings faster. They just are. I talk to them every day. Right? They're out there. They're doing that. So mail. <laughs> mail works great. you got to know what to send. you got to know what to send and what it needs to say. And it's much more simple than you think it is. Right? But um, I'm helping agents do that stuff, right? Craigslist, I can show you guys stuff all day long. In fact, let me show you a couple things. So if I'm an agent with a system like this, I can go over here and I can log in to what we call the agent back office. Right? Agent back office has got their lead center right here. They can just manage all their leads and prospects right here from their back office. But that's not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you was some Craigslist ads. I want to give you an idea of how to use HARP 2.0 to get listings. Right, so here's here's a Harp Craigslist ad. Okay, with the Harp 2.0 refi program, I was able to refi to today's low interest rates and cut my monthly payments almost in half. If you'd like help getting qualified, just click on the ad, right, and meet a foreclosure alternatives advisor, and just click on the ad. Okay, so you guys see, I've got all this code right down here. This this code stuff looks like looks like HTML code. All right, what I could do, and it would work, but I'd be wrong. I could come down here and I could just copy this code, copy, and I could go paste it into Craigslist, right? And in this content, I'd have to put it in the services section, right? And I could go paste it and this ad would appear. And when people click on it, it would take them to, where would it take them to? It'd take them to where it says display page, right here. It'd take them to my HARP 2.0 government refinance program page. However, I said I'd be wrong because that's not where I want people to go. Right. Because if we go over my website, right, let's go over my website, if I can put my pen down here. If we go over my website, you're going to see that um, my HARP 2.0 refinance help page is where I want them to go to. I want them to go to here. Right. So all I need to do is come over here and click, hmm, where is that page? Oh, here we go, HARP 2.0 refi help. Right. Now these codes just changed. Now I'm going to grab this code down here. Now I'm going to go click, copy. I'm going to go paste this into Craigslist, and when people click on this, it's going to take them straight to this page. Straight to this page. They're not going to go to my home page and have to find it. It's going to take them straight to this page. Now, let's go back here for a minute. Did you know that I could take this ad, right, and I could incorporate this ad into a ad for a, a rental, like a rental listing? So I could, go get, I could make an ad for a property rental listing, and then I could incorporate this ad into it. Then I could go run it in the for rent section on Craigslist. By the way, not just Craigslist. I'm going to syndicate this ad through something like Point Two Agent, and I'm going to get it on Backpage and Realtor all over the place, right? And so I can incorporate this ad into a rental ad, like a real rental ad, and now I can put it in the rentals. I can incorporate it into a property for sale ad, and now I can put it in the for sales. So I don't just have to run it in. I'm not just limited to services, right? I got all of Craigslist if I know how to do that stuff, right? And I show you how to do that kind of stuff. 
So I got a bunch of Craigslist ads back here, right, in, in my system, in my toolkit. Have you considered a deed and lieu foreclosure, free loan mods, get help, get a free copy of the book, stop foreclosure, right? There's a lot of different Craigslist ads back here, and they all operate the same way, right, from the back office. So you can just run Craigslist ads. But forget Craig, running the Craigslist ads. You don't forget it. You're going to do that. But more than that, right, like to me, this is a basket full of fish. I'm going to, I teach you guys how to fish. I'm not going to. I teach you guys how to build your own Craigslist ads, point them to any page of your website, how to build the page you want to point them to. For instance, for your FISBO campaign, when you do have a real FISBO, it's going to be a three-bedroom, two-bath, four-sale by owner, four-s ranch. You're going to build an ad. When people click on it, boom, it's going to take them right to your FISBO page. And then I'm going to show you what to put on that page so that people don't hit the back browser and leave. They actually click and they watch the video of you and they check out all the FISBOs, and they go, whoa, I want to work with this agent, right? And if they're a FISBO, they're going to say, I want to advertise my home on this page, right? And if they're a buyer, they're going to say, and they're going to call you up and say, hey, you, I want to work with you. Can you help us find a home in that community? Sure, right? So um, these stealth sites, right, FISBO campaign, expired campaign, let me give you guys an idea, right? Just put yourself in the shoes. you got to be a marketer with a real estate license. Put yourselves in the shoes of an expired listing. Like, you just had your home on the market and it didn't sell. So that's frustrating. Wow, that's frustrating. And you know what you want to know? Who else did that happen to? What if you got a letter in the mail that said, hey, you had your home on the market and it didn't sell? I know that's frustrating. Go visit this website and check out everybody else in your community that also had their home on the market in the last 24 months and had it expire. You're going to be shocked to discover that some of them relisted with another brokerage and actually sold their home at a higher list price. Go check it out. Why wouldn't, of course they're going to go there. What? I get to see the expired listing history for this entire community for the last two years and see people who relisted with another brokerage and sold at a higher list price? <laughs> I'm going to go there right now. And when they get there, there's going to be a video too because people love video. And it's going to be me. I'm so glad you came here. Listen, <laughs> you had your home on the market and it didn't sell. I know that's frustrating. I can't believe it, quite frankly. I've probably got three or four buyers for your property in my back pocket right now. Right now. Now, there's some information below. So I know what to say in that video, and I know what information to put on that page. So the expired listing person is going to call me up and say, hey, listen, <laughs> would you help us sell our house? Sure, I'd love to. Sure, I'd love to. You guys, so that's why you need the ability to build a page, and it needs to be simple because you're not a computer programmer, right? And now, what's the marketing piece? Let me, let me just give you guys a little basic idea of something. Did you know that you could print your screen? Did you know that I could just print a picture of my website? I could just print a picture of it on a, say, an eight and a half by 14 piece of paper, right? And then I could put a little post-it note on it right here, and I could write, check this out, right? And then I could take my little yellow highlighter, right? And I could just go, uh, you know, I could just point it to a page, expired listing history, and I could circle that page with my highlighter. And this little thing says, check this out. And I could fold this thing up and stick it in an envelope, and I can mail it to expireds. Right, that live in Forest Ranch or San Diego or whatever. Right, they get it and they go check this out. Post-it note on this thing, expired listing history. No, what? Do you think they're going to go hop on the internet and go look at it? Of course they are. And there's going to be a headline and a video <laughs> and the information they want. Right. Same thing for Fizbos. Right. Same thing for NODs. Check this out. Get 30k to short sale. Right. Why would they not go there? Why would they not go there? So that's why I asked you guys in the beginning of this webinar, are you planning on using video in 2013? I hope you are because it's so powerful. It's so free. And if you've got a website that you can play with, it's a great way to get people to engage in your website. It's a great way to get people to remember the email you just sent them and actually go home and talk about it in the evening. Hey, I got this email today. I clicked on it. Guess what? It was this agent that I know. Is that, right? So that's what we're talking about, and that stuff's free. It's free to make a video. It's free. So um, short sales have been reduced in the inventory drastically and even less in 2013. Uh, kind of depending on where you are, um, I'm, seeing, uh, I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing that. In fact, I'm thinking we're going to continue to see more short sales and, and faster short sales. Uh, but we are in an interesting little time right now. But that's why, as you guys say, this is not a short sale website. It's a website that positions me as a short sale expert, and I've got the resources for people who are upside down in their home to help them, whether they want to refi through HARP, whether they want to do a loan mod, right? Read my book, discover why I'm a short sale guru, right? They can do that, 
right? But now I'm going to launch my FISBO campaign. I'm going to launch my expired campaign. I'm going to set up some buyer campaigns, and I'm going to target a geographic farm area. And I'm going to target that geographic farm area with my newsletter, <laughs> right? And I'm going to be working it. And I'm going to take everything that comes from that geographic farm area. Like if I knock on a door and they say, hey, nice stuff, great stuff, this is really cool. Listen, my sister, she's a doctor in, in Denver, and she's being transferred out here. In fact, she's got she's to find something to buy quickly. Do you work with buyers? <laughs> she's a doctor? She's, yeah, of course I do. I'd love to work with her, right? Everything comes from a farm area, right? So that's another webinar, by the way, you guys geographic farm area, right, as opposed to San Diego, California. Oh, I'm a San Diego expert. Oh, really? You mean you cover everything from $55 million beachfront properties to $55,000 shacks in the desert and everything in between? Well, no, not really. Yeah, I didn't think so, right? Geographic farm areas. Right now, okay, because if there's any confusion, oh, are the short sales going to go away? Are they going to stick around for a mile? What should I be doing? What you ought to be doing is focusing on a geographic farm area because you're going to get short sales from it. But don't go buy an NOD list. Go pick a neighborhood. It's got NODs in it, right? And it's got people in it that aren't NODs, but they know NODs. And when you've got a good, unique service offer, like, by the way, this guy wrote a book. I'm going to tell my sister about this. You get that stuff from it, right? But you'll get equity listings. You'll get the expired listing that was frustrated. You'll get the FISBO that's in your farm area. You guys really need to think about what's your community, right? Now, because I can build any page I want, I can build multiple community pages, like I've got Forest Ranch expired listing history, Forest Ranch service center, uh, where's my Forest Ranch FISBO page right here? Like I could very easily go back here and say, customize website content. I could build a new page, right? I could say, uh, San Alejo Hills FISBO, right? And now I'm going to build another campaign called San Alejo Hills for sale by owners, right? San Alejo Hills for sale by owner. Submit, right? And now I'm just going to go over here, Menu, and I'm going to click Customize Website Menu. And that page that I just built, I'm just going to drag it right over. I'll put it right there next to my Search for Homes. And I'm going to click Save Changes. And now if we go back to my website and reload, you're going to see that now I've also got a San Alejo Hills for Sale by Owner page. Right? Now, I haven't populated it with any content yet, which is very easy to put in photos. Right? Really easy. I can put in videos, whatever I want. But it's really easy for me to build this page, San Alejo Hills FISBO page. Right? So I can target communities, Chula Vista for sale by owners, right? Alpine Hills for sale by owners, Mara Mesa for sale by owners. And I could just build those pages, run ads, Craigslist ads, pointed right to them. People can come over here, search my, use my IDX. Right? That's the nimbleness. That's the freedom. And that's the ability that I need, right? that, that I need, <laughs> that I think you do too. I think you do too. Anyway, um, oh, let me show you guys something. So since you can build any page you want, let's go look at this guy's website. I like what he just built, mybressyranch.com. Mybressyranch.com. So this is Mike Daniels. We're looking at his site, right? He wrote, if you're upside down on your Bressy Ranch, because he's just going to start targeting this community Bressy Ranch. Look at this page that he built, Bressy Ranch Nosy Neighbors. Let's click on it. Become a Bressy Ranch Nosy Neighbor. What did he do? He made a headline. He put in a, two photos, right? And then he wrote, you'll be shocked by what you'll discover as a Bressy Ranch nosy neighbor. Actually, I helped him write this. When you sign up for our nosy neighbor program, you'll be able to rest assured knowing that nothing will happen in Bressy Ranch real estate that you won't know about right away. We will email you updates on all properties for sale, including for sale by owner properties, right? So this is a little thing. Just give us your name and information, right? And be sure and tell us, you know, your neighbors too. They'll thank you, right? So become a Bressy Ranch nosy neighbor. Just sign up. Tell us what you're looking for. It's just a page that he built because it's really easy. You see this box right here, this contact us box. You can, when you build a page, you can put one of these on any page that you want, right? So you guys don't even know what you don't even know really about the, my stealth system over here, but that's why I invite you guys. <laughs> that's why I invite you guys to come poke around at simplelistingsolutions.com because if your website's more than 39 bucks a month, Right? And it doesn't translate into 50 languages. You can't plug in your IDX. You can't link your blog over there. Right? You can't build as many pages as you want. You can't change the background color. You can't rewrite the headline. It doesn't have a couple ebooks. It doesn't have a bunch of automated drip campaigns that you can edit. Right? It doesn't come with you know, all this stuff. You, know, you might want to upgrade. That, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, so 
uh, good questions, you guys, and thank you so much for your time today. Listen, you can; these tools come in English and Spanish, and it's not either or. When you sign up for the system, you get both, right? And the way that works is, like, if you were to come over here and log into your back office, you would just click log in, and then you'd see in your back office, you've got this link called downloads. You've also got download the monthly newsletter. So this is where your monthly newsletter, the direct response newsletter I put together called the welcome mat, it arrives in your back office every month. So you can just click download the December edition of the newsletter, and here it is. And you've got a customizable newsletter called the welcome mat. It's a direct response newsletter. It's awesome. It's awesome. You guys can kind of check check it out. Come over here and check it out. Um, so I'm going to back up, right? And you could click downloads. And you could say, okay, I'm going to download my business card, right? And so all the tools are already made for you and just waiting, right? In fact, I'm going to click, let's just go this route. Let me open up a newsletter first. I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to show you guys a copy of the Welcome Mat Direct Response Newsletter, right? And I think we're going to be looking at uh, probably the September, October edition here, right? So here's a direct response newsletter, okay? It's a four-page newsletter. Right. Here's the inside pages, and here's the cover page and the back page. And what we're looking at right here is the month of, uh, well, we got Labor Day, right? So uh, whatever month, I can't see my whole screen, September, right? So here we've got the September edition of the Welcome Mat, which is a direct response newsletter that, by the way, with two folds, fold number one, fold number two, goes out in the mail the size of a large postcard, right? little staple. There's your large postcard. They open it up and they've got a four-page newsletter that lets them know they can get a free copy of your book, The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales, at your website. Right? That lets them know they can get a free home value report over your website. That lets them know, thanks for not keeping me a secret. Your referrals are the lifeblood of my business. I can help people with HAMP, HARP, HAFA. It's free. Right? I can help them save their home or sell it and get paid cash to move out. Thank you. Right, my newsletter every month. So one of my touch points that I create and I create for you guys too is called the Welcome Mat Direct Response Newsletter. So you got a newsletter you can send out every single month, right? And every month this person up here changes, so it's not a woman every month. Next month it's a guy, and then it's a girl, and then it's a guy. But they're always yelling through a megahorn saying, "Thank you, right? Thanks for not keeping me a secret. I can help. It's free. Thank you. Go get my book, right?" Okay, and then you've got these fields where you can edit and you can put in your nice stuff, put in your return address and your logo and, you know, make it real nice. So this is a direct response newsletter called The Welcome Mat, right? And so we were in the process of opening up a business card, right? And uh, so I was showing you guys with the, uh, with the business cards, how they come. So all the tools, they just arrive in your back office. They just sit back here, little PDF files you can just upload to the printer of your choice, right? I'm going to say save, and let's open up the business card so you can see it. Yeah, I'll shrink it down a little bit, right? So here's one of the cards. You can sell your home for less than you owe the bank, avoid foreclosure, save your credit, and get your lender to pay all the sales costs for free. Let me show you how. Certified short sale advisor. Now, look at this. I don't need to go, hey, go get a free copy of my book. I'm a short sale guy when I hand out this card. I don't do that at all because that's not what people want to do. Remember, they want to save their home. Anybody can breathe commission breath on people and talk about short selling your house. Anybody can do that. I don't do that. Right. People who do that are a commodity. People who do that are like pork bellies, soybeans. There's 35,000 licensed realtors in San Diego, and they're probably all saying, I can help you short sell your house, right, when people don't want to do that. So my book, listen, you, they can see what I did. They can see who I am and what I do. Don't worry about that. What I'm going to do, though, is say, hey, go over here to save it. Go click on the HARP 2.0 help page. Go meet Tom. It's not about me. Go meet Tom. Right? Prospects pursued run away. I don't pursue people. Again, I make myself attractive. They come, they come to me. Hey, you guys, don't worry about my book. The short, short sale, short sale. You guys don't want to do that anyway. Go visit my website, though, at Expert Homes. Just click on the HARP 2.0 help page. Meet Tom. He's going to help you guys save your home for free. You're going to love him, too. He's a super funny guy. And if you go into the office, he's going to give you donuts because he's always got donuts. He's just a sugar guy. But anyway, call him up. You're going to love him. Oh, okay, great. What's this book on your car? Oh, don't worry about it. Get a free copy when you're over there if you want. Got to go. Bye. I make myself attractive. Hey, Tom, Chris told us to come see you. You're going to help us save it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you don't qualify. Well, what do we do? Go talk to Chris. Have you read his book? Oh, no. Yeah, the one on his Yeah, we haven't done that. You guys see how that works, right? I'm armed to the teeth when I go out into the world. I'm ready to go, ready for action. <laughs> so this is how your tools exist. 
right? This is how your ebooks exist. Download the short sale ebook. Download it in Spanish. Download the fight foreclosure ebook. Download the tear sheet. What's the tear sheet? Well, the tear sheet is that direct response letter that we were talking about earlier that goes on the reverse side of your property flyers. Remember how I said the purpose of a listing is to get another one, right? And I said, so in 2013, right, in 2013, you're going to leverage your inventory. You're always going to hand deliver the just listed. You're always going to hand deliver the just sold. You're always going to hand deliver the open house invite to 100 homes around you, right? Because you're in the relationship building business. You hand deliver. You don't mail that stuff. You always hold it open the first week. And you always stage to engage. And you always get a bunch of neighborhood homeowners to come because you invited them, right? You got signs all over the place. And they're going to come get a root beer float and a hot chocolate and a donut or Krispy Kreme or whatever it is. They're coming. You invited them, right? You met a bunch of people in the process. And when they come, I don't have paper cups for you to take that coffee out of here with you. Are you kidding me? Have a ceramic mug and hang out. Let's have a conversation. We got some Pete's coffee brewing in the kitchen, some Starbucks. Some, you grab your sleeve and let me pour you a cup of coffee, right? Now they're standing there with a cup of coffee and a mug got some music going and they're not going to leave. What are they going to do? They're talk to me. What are they going to discover in the process? Hey, I'm a foreclosure alternatives advisor. I help people save their homes and avoid foreclosure through HARP, HAMP. And if I can't help them do that, you know what happens next. I'll help them stay there as long as possible, get paid cash to move out through a short sale, no foreclosure. How are you guys doing? Oh, wow. Have you got a card? <laughs> Have I got a card? Yeah, let me give you a couple of my cards. Oh, what's this thing on your card? Hey, thanks for asking. It's a book I put together. Oh, you mean you wrote a book on short sales? Yep, wrote the book. Hey, thanks for stopping by, you guys. That's my open houses. You know, they come by, they grab a property flyer, they turn it over, and they see this letter on the back. Who's this? What? What's this? Right. So, um, 2013, you guys, we're not talking, we're talking everything is out there. Fizbos, right? <laughs> Expireds, buyers, right? Short sales, equity listings, right? Pick your area. Pick your target market. Pick your target market. Get your dialogue down. Get your unique service offer down. And remember, real estate is simple. It's two things. Two groups, people who know you, people who don't. You're in the communication business. What are you communicating to the people who know you? How often are you doing it? What are you communicating to the strangers? Who are they? Are they NODs? Are they divorced? Are they expired? Are they FISBOs? Who are they that you're communicating to? Is it a geographic farm area? And what are you communicating to them? And how often are you doing it? I would suggest newsletters because they're easy. Right? Handwritten notes, note cards, things like that, they're easy. Phone calls, stopping by, knocking. But when you stop by and knock, it's not like, hey, here's the season schedule for the San Diego Padres. Nobody cares about the San Diego Padres. I mean, maybe somebody does. Even worse, hey, here's the season schedule for the San Diego Chargers. <laughs> Give me a break. Oh, wait, you no, know, that, that's great. We're just trying to start a fire in the fireplace right now. I need a little kindling. Okay, I'll take that charger thing. Here you go. Thanks, bye. Click, close the door. What do I get out of it? Nothing. <laughs> you know, so what we say at the door, our dialogue, it's everything, right? And when they don't open the door, what are we going to do? I'm just going to waste my time. i got to leave something at the door that gets them to call me back and say, hey, you came by my house. What's this thing? Oh, hey, thanks for calling me back, right? So, again, two groups, strangers, non-strangers, and number of touch points, and what's our touch point system? And do we have our resources in place for 2013? Are we ready to go? Are we ready with our dialogue? Are we ready with our website? Are we ready with our tools? Right? Do we have our mortgage partner in place? Like, do we have our own Tom? Right? Do you have a Tom in your life? Right? All he has to be is a loan officer, mortgage guy, that's willing to play the game with you. Of course, he's going to be willing to play the game. Right? Have you got a bankruptcy attorney? If you do, I'll show to, I'll show you how to get them onto your site in a very powerful way. Right? So, you guys, thank you for your time today. Um, I think I've answered all the questions. Uh, thanks, Jerry. You're awesome. Um, all is included. Uh, yeah, all is included in the thirty-nine bucks per month. There's nothing that's not included in the thirty-nine dollars per month. And in fact, for one hundred and fifty dollars a month, um, there's even more included. Uh, not more tools, but there's more time with me, right? I'm literally on your team. You got my cell phone number and your cell phone. I'm I'm helping you. I mean, we're we're really working together. But thirty-nine bucks a month, you guys, pays. It keeps your system going. It keeps a newsletter in your back office every month. It pays for your hosting. It pays. You're up. Right, and it's there's no contract. It's a month to month thing, right? It's a month to month thing. It's just a month to month relationship. And again, you can link your blog over here, right? And in your back office, um, and especially for those members who are on here right now, because some of them aren't aware, in your back office, right? You can always go over here to click training. So you've got what 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 can you do back here? You can run Craigslist ads. You can manage all of your leads through your lead center. Where's your lead center? Right here. Right. You can customize your website, build any page you want, edit any page you want, insert videos, photos, text, headlines. Right? You can customize your website menu. What does that mean? 
well, like I can take these pages off of here right now easily. I can say, I don't want to work Forest Ranch anymore. I want to work San Alejo Hills. So I'm going to take all my Forest Ranch pages away, right? And I'm going to click Save Changes. And then I'm going to go over here to Menu. And I'm going to click Customize Website Content. And I'm going to go to my homepage and I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to make this say San Alejo Hills instead of Forest Ranch, right? San Alejo Hills. And then I could just come down here and click Submit. And watch this. Let's go back to my website. Let's just see what we did. Reload. And now I'm working San Alejo Hills, right? And all those Forest Ranch pages are gone, right? I've got them parked. I can bring them back anytime I want, right? I can change this stacking order. I can move these pages in any order I want. I can rewrite the name of the page. It doesn't have to be called Get 30K to Short Sale. I can just call it Get 30K, whatever I want, right? Change this background color, rewrite this headline, insert a different video down here, do whatever I want, right? Do whatever I want just like Mike did over here on his page, my Bressy Ranch, you know, nosy neighbors, or just like Don Ross right here up in Orange County, California. I mean, he's got a bunch of pages. Second lien eliminations, mortgage balance reduction program, Ladera Ranch for sale by owners, rent buyback program, right? So, um, you know, these are all real people doing, doing real things. And so um, it's not just you can do a bunch of stuff because I know what will happen with that method, right? Great, I got a website I can do a bunch of stuff with, but it's really not as simple as Chris made it look, and I'm stuck. <laughs> That's what is going to happen with that method. That's why you need to be able to come over here and, number one, go to Click Training Videos and learn the dialogue, learn how to build a page, learn how to build a Craigslist ad. Just watch the video and follow the step-by-step -step instructions. And if that's not enough for you, call me up and say, hey, Chris, I need your help. Okay, what's going on? Well, I'm trying to do this. It's not working. All right, we got you covered. How much are you going to charge me for this? Nothing. <laughs> we got you covered. You got tons of IT support. I'm on your team. We're not going to leave you hanging, right? We show you how to do this stuff. You'll be good, right? You'll be good. So um, that's it, you guys. Check out what we're doing at SimpleListingSolutions.com. I'd love to help you make 2013 your best year ever for, look, 39 bucks a month, less than 220s. There's a setup fee, right? The setup fee. Um, in fact, let me give you guys, look, it's, what am I thinking? It's Christmas here. All right. I'm going to save you guys some money. Then we're going to end this webinar. If you want to do this, don't come over here to Simple Listing Solutions and click sign up. Right? If you did, here's what you'd see. You'd see a $600 setup fee, $597. Right? So don't do that. It's a one-time setup fee, but you don't, you don't want to pay that. Right? Do this instead for Christmas. Go to SimpleListingSolutions.com. Right? That's my website, simplelistingsolutions.com. And then in the address bar up here in the uh, URL screen, just put in forward slash and write the word offer. simplelistingsolutions.com forward slash offer. Right? And then it brings you to this page where it says enter webinar offer code. Enter webinar offer code. I'm going to give you guys a really nice little thing right here. Just write in the word pay plan. Pay plan. Submit. And what that's going to do, it's going to knock $50 off the setup fee. So instead of $597, it's only $546. And then it's going to break that $546 payment up into three payments over 90 days with zero interest. Right? That's $182 a month for three months with no interest. You can do that. Right? SimpleListingSolutions.com forward slash offer. Just type in the word pay plan. Right? And that gives you a $50 discount and it breaks it up into three payments. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but now I did. So um, great, you guys. Go do good work, and don't keep us a secret. And Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Feliz Navidad, Joyeux Noel, and whatever else applies. And thank you. Bye.